Ladies and gentlemen, our story opens in far off China. The town is Peking, the place is the market square. Children are dancing in the streets, and citizens are celebrating everywhere because it is the Chinese New Year. Now you step back. Well, I will make him my apprentice, and he too will be a great tailor one day. 
mind you. They'll have to work hard. Work? He doesn't know the meaning of the word. His head is full of idle dreams of becoming rich. I can't do a thing with him. Oh, all right, all right. I'll come again tomorrow and help you fly your kite. Now leave this one to me. I'll glue the broken pieces together. It'll be as good as new. Aladdin, where have you been? There's all this washing to be delivered. How can you expect us to get enough money to live on if you don't deliver the goods? Sorry, Mother. Anyway, what's this? You mean, who's this? This is Mr. Sing Sing. Hi there, Chin Chin. Sing Sing's the name, my boy. Why is he called Sing twice? Just in case you don't hear it the first time. That's his name, stupid. Oh, I see. Christian name Sing, surname Sing. Couldn't your mother think of another one? A lattice. Mr. Singh can find you room in his business. Then turn to mind his own business. I couldn't work in a tailor's. I'd get pins and needles in my bottom. Besides, I don't want to work. I am going to be very rich. How? I don't know. I haven't worked that one out yet. Then you'd better work it out quick. In the meantime, get this washing delivered. If I let it pile up, I shall get all behind. And you know my motto? No hanky-panky with widow twenty. She delivers each day, provided you pay. Oh, my goodness, the washing boiling out. Good luck tonight. Poor mother. I wish she didn't have to work so hard. It can't be much fun slaving over a hot sink all day. Somehow, someday, I'll take her away from this poky little place. I will build her a magnificent mansion with servants to wait upon her and a golden rickshaw to ride in. She would have beautiful clothes. Aladdin, stop dreaming and get those that washing delivered. And don't forget to collect the money. Mrs. Wong owes me two weeks. A Mr. C. Perhaps you'd like to try some of my sweet sour rock cakes. They're very famous. That's a better. Good morning, Honourable All. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Come forward. Nice day for a few crimes. Any of you lot committed any lately? No. no. Pity. We haven't had a decent conviction in months. Never mind, I have an announcement here forbidding you all to do something or other. So perhaps that will encourage one of you to go and do it. Listen carefully, you horrible people. It's very important. Yes, it's very important. <coughs> if you horrible commoners don't listen extremely carefully, you won't be here for the next new year. <laughs> His High and Mightiness, the Emperor of China, gives notice that today, New Year's Day of the Year of the Dragon, and one hour before noon, his daughter, the beloved Princess Baldrupador, escorted by her ladies-in-waiting, will take a royal bath. Oh. The Minister of Health, the Royal Physician, and the Superintendent of Waterworks will be at the Imperial Bathhouse to receive Her Highness. What a fuss about having a bath. I have one every week. Yes. Yes. Quiet, there's more for the Honourable Proclamation. And if you don't listen very carefully, you won't be here for the next few year again. <laughs> Citizens of Peking, His Mightiness the Emperor has decreed that no commoner shall gaze upon the princess, save on pain of death by this honourable chopper. <laughs> honourable commoners, you have been warned. All clear? No. What's it mean? If you don't want your nappers up, you better nip off. <laughs> No, she's so beautiful. If we're never allowed to see her, for all we know, she may be fat and ugly. <laughs> ah, but that's where you're wrong. Remember, I do the raw washing, and I know that she wears unmentionable a soft gossamer. Oh, yes. Here's the money, Mother. Who wears? You know. Uh, the, the, the Princess Baldrupador. And you'd better watch out if you don't want to lose your head. The Princess is taking a bath, and if anyone is caught peeking, it's... 
Well, I think the Emperor's silly not letting anyone see the Princess. How is a poor girl ever going to get married if no one is allowed to see her? I wouldn't propose to a girl I've never met. Would you? Oh, dear. Do you think we should tell the Emperor? Your Highness, how do you expect Aladdin to propose to the Princess if he never sees her? <laughs> yes, tell him you'd never buy anything without looking first. <laughs> oh, don't you dare make fun of my Aladdin. He'd be good enough for any emperor's daughter. She'd be lucky to get an honest, hard-working lad like him. Oh, my goodness, the royal bath towels. Whatever will I do? She'll step out of her bath and she won't be able to cover her confusion. If the emperor finds out, he might take a mate by royal warrant. He might even take off my head. Oh, bang goes the coat of arms on the Y front. And we won't be famous after all. Oh, If you're seen, you might lose your head. And if I don't take them, you'll lose yours. Now go inside and leave this to me. Police. 
pull out the fire brigade. Don't be ridiculous. See that man. No, 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 no. What's all this to do with... Oh, crikey. Miserable youth. For this he shall lose his head, won't he, Emperor? <coughs> well, I... Mercy? No, he shall be instantly executed, shan't he, Emperor? Well, I... Uh... Oh, Emperor, spare him. He is my son, my only son. Enough, enough, your Emperor has spoken, haven't you? Have I? Oh, well, I have spoken. <laughs> it has to be. He disobeyed my royal decree. But since the youth does now repent, pray, dear father, please relent. Too late, too late. It is useless to solicitate. But wait, but wait, soon your fury may abate. Please, Please wait, 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 wait. Too late. Oh, wait. wait too wait, wait. late. The boy must be decapitated. We we'll lead him off, off in chains to chop chop. Oh, Emperor, please, I beg you, stop, stop. He is my son, my only son. He's just a peeping Tom. No, head from body must be cut from. No, no, oh, not, not so, so, not so. Please let Aladdin go. Cease your pleading, for I have spoke and will not my word evoke. Come, Pink, come, Pong. Bring him along, and we will right this fever strong. I've done no wrong. I've done no wrong. He's done no wrong. He's done no wrong.
Mississippi King straightway go. Could thou slave take me there? Yes, in but a moment, through the air. Come then, my genie, let's away. Master, I hear and obey. Behold, we are in the king, sire. We are. Such swiftness I admire. As swiftly young Aladdin finds. No, stay. First I must turn my mind how to bend his will to mine. I have it, yes. His uncle, fine. I'll be his rich but long lost nunky. Go, fetch him hence, my magic flunky. Master, I hear and obey. Good. Still good. <laughs> oh, how lovely the princess is. Somehow I must get to see her again. But how? How could the son of the poor washerwoman ever be considered good enough to be friends with the princess? Or, or even perhaps marry her? No. I think it's not come no. that better. Is that alright? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, if I were a prince, or even if I were very rich, it would all be different. But oh well. Even if I am reprieved, I could never leave home to seek my fortune. Mother would never be able to manage without me. Come on, Aladdin, the chopping block should fit nicely now. Aladdin, Aladdin, did you say? Not Aladdin to Andy. Yes, that's <coughs> me. My dear boy, come and welcome your dear uncle. Uncle? Yes, I am your father's long-lost brother. But he didn't have a brother. Surely your mother has told you about me. Abanaza, Twanky, your father's older brother. Isn't that just like dear Amelia? She always was so secretive and shy. But my mother's name is Sarah. Ah, oh, yes. But I always called her Amelia for sure. Allah be praised that I found you at last. I am now a very rich man. And there's nothing I'd like more than to share my riches with you both. Well, you'll have to lose him just as soon as you've found him. Because we're going to take him to block, to be de-blocked. You mean he's going to be executed? No, he's going to have his head chopped off. Oh, alas, what a miserable homecoming. Um, if you two were not such honest and upright fellows, I would think about bribing you to let my nephew escape. But I fear it would be quite useless. Yes. Quite useless. Hey, how much? A hundred pieces of gold. A hundred? No. Each, of course. Oh, no. Allow me, we'd let a whole prison escape for that, wouldn't we, Paul? No. Sweet William Paul. No. Come on, you untie him and I'll get the money. No. Mr. Sing Sing. 
perhaps you would like to come and have some refreshments. My sweet and sour rock cakes are very famous. Thank you, my dear sister-in-law, but I fear we must be going very soon. Going? But you've only just got here. Well, yes, but I think it would be wise for my dear nephew to disappear for a few days. It also happens to fit in with a little plan of mine, for I have a small task which I wish Aladdin to perform for me. It necessitates a journey to the mountains. If he will do me this favor, I promise you he will return a very rich man. Aladdin, Aladdin. Oh, call my name. Yes, madam, what can I do for you? Oh, Aladdin, you don't recognize me, do you? Princess, but is it dangerous for you to be here? Your mother and father. I had to disguise myself, Aladdin. I had to come and warn you. Father and mother are on their way to find you. They are determined that you shall be recaptured. How soon will they be here? Not for a little while yet. You must find somewhere for you to hide, but where? Not oh, that is easy now. Man, An uncle of mine is taking me up into the mountain. It was his help, he'll save. He says he's fabulously rich. And when I have helped him with the task he had in mind, he will make me rich. But first, we must make goodbye for a little while. And think.
reverse again and then go backwards onto the stage so that they can pull the curtains as the last verse, as the last line comes. All right? <laughs> they have just finished singing. Well, yeah. Have they finished that bit? Yes. Have we gone back and to go into uh, the last chorus. Back to that? That's right. Okay. okay. Uncle, I must 
stop for a while. And I say we must go on. Remember your mother told you to obey me in all things. I know that you were nicer then. The farther we've come, the nastier you've become. And anyway, I don't see that coming to this beastly place will make me a rich man. I promised you lots of gold. Is that not enough? No, it isn't. The only gold I've seen is that ring on your finger. Give that to me to show you will keep your promise. This ring? No, it is valuable to me. But it would be valuable to me too. Take the ring then. No. <laughs> Curse the boy. Now let us proceed. The rock with the mark upon it. Stand back, Aladdin. Ye spirit guardian of these rocks, tis time to open thy magic locks. Come lightning, come crash of thunder, cause the rocks to burst the thunder. Yeah. 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 There, tis done. Come, my boy, do not be frightened. Look inside. What do you see? <gasps> oh, Uncle! It's full of gold and silver and lots of jewels. Did I not promise you great wealth? You may take as much as you wish, but first you must do as I want. Now listen. Somewhere inside that cave lies a lamp. A lamp? Yes. First you must find the lamp and hand it to me. And then you may load yourself with riches. But understand, first the lamp. Oh, it's horribly dark and spooky, Uncle. Never well, mind that. Can you see the lamp? No, not yet. Whereabouts will it be? <coughs> On a ledge at the far end. Can you see it? Hurry, boy, hurry. Don't be so long about it. It's all very well for you to say hurry. I must be careful where I tread. Oh, Uncle, I've got it. Good. Now bring it here, quickly. Why do you want it, Uncle? Stop asking questions and bring it to me. It's not very big. It won't give much light. Give me the lamp. You can come and get it yourself if you're going to get all cross about it. Curse it upon you. Then stay there forever. No, Uncle, wait. Wait, it's closing. Help! Help! I can't stop it. Help! Well, you don't want to because we're doing this from Roy. Oh. Goodbye, my dear, dear nephew. He really has gone away and left me. I'm all alone and no one knows where I am. I should never see the beautiful world again. I should never see the sky or the trees. Or my lovely princess. Or my poor, poor old mother. Or all my friends and their kind. Oh, I'm so frightened. What shall I do? I seem to hear voices all around me. What are they saying? What's the use of a stupid old lamp that it's not even a light? I can't even see if it's made of gold or silver, or just plain brass. It feels smooth and well polished. Good gracious! My master calls and now I'm here. Crumbs, I say, how did you appear? Whoever holds the lamp I serve in everything without reserve. You rub the lamp and summon me. But who you are I still don't see. Slave is the magic lamp am I. Just state your wish and I'll comply. A magic lamp? Ah, oh, now I know why Abanaza wished it. Can you do anything, I ask? However small or large the task, I can perform it. What would you? Oh, it wouldn't seem too rude. I'm dying for a bite of food. Master, joy dishes and rare meat shall be prepared for you to eat. No, no, a snack is all I need. Then it is a very simple deed. That's better, much better. Hold that right up so that they have a good look at it. What more does thou require? To leave this cave, my chief desire. Another simple deed, my lord, most swiftly done, but rest assured. But first, I pray thee, come with me, that richly clothed you may be. Well, this suit has seen better days. Master, thou shalt homeward go, to free thee I will my power show. All the ground shall shake and rumble, and the walls to powder crumble.
not for long. If Aladdin discovers the secret of the lamp and comes back here, I shall use all the cunning tricks I know to get them back. Abu Banana is not finished yet. Boiling oil and brimstone. Here come those nosy cops.